before we configure the forwarder on the caching only DNS, we need to understand the setup and the purpose of the forwarder. On the caching only DNS server, we used to configure forwarder because caching only takes all the query from the local clients. Then if the caching only cannot respond to the uh, client's query, then it forwards all query to the upper level DNS server like DNS server on the ISP. So ISP DNS server actually works on behalf of the caching only DNS server. So any request comes to caching only DNS response from its cache. And if the data on the DNS server is not present, then the caching only DNS queries the upper level DNS server. And the ISP's DNS server queries on behalf of the uh, caching only DNS. And the caching only responsibility is only to cache the response from the upper level DNS server. So here to configure an upper level DNS server, we are using our primary DNS server, which has the IP address 0 0.10 and our caching only DNS server IP is 0 0.15. So let's configure the forwarder we need to put here here we are providing a single DNS server as the upper level DNS server but we can um, put multiple DNS server here let's save it now let's flash the local cache and let's query from the master one so it took 4731 millisecond now if you run the same query from the caching only it takes only four milliseconds because it actually gets the data from the upper level forwarder now if we flash From the master one and if you run the query again it is responding from the local cache if you flash the caching only is local cache also and if you query yahoo.com again then it took long time because caching only actually asks the forwarder to query for him now if we dig yahoo.com again it should respond with a zero millisecond because during responding to caching only primary one also caches the yahoo response here you can see only 186 millisecond because it is responding from the local cache If you run yahoo.com again then it is responding with zero millisecond because now the caching only cached the data and if we flash again and we run dig google.com let's first flash the cache google.com caching only ask the forwarder for this query now if we dump cache from the primary server we should retrieve the google.com's data
here you see though the primary name server didn't explicitly query the google.com but it actually queried on behalf of the caching only dns so hope you understand that caching only dns actually asking the upper level dns server for any name resolution that is coming to the caching only dns and the same scenario will happen if any network client queries to the caching only we have set up here the dns 0 0.15 this is the caching only now we pinged cnn.com and it can successfully ping and resolve the name now if we go to primary one and let's dump the cache again and if we query cnn.com it has the data and also if we dump from the grip cn.com here you see the caching only also has the data so hope you understand the caching only and the forwarded dns behavior so if any query comes to the caching only dns if you configure forwarder it will ask the forwarder for its uh, query now if we hit the cnn.com again it should respond faster and if you dig here it should respond with a zero millisecond because it is already on the cache so hope you understand the caching only and the forwarder dns uh, communication and how caching only dns works with the forwarder so this is it for today thank you for being with me if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it will encourage me a lot to create more videos for you so thank you i'll see you on the next video bye